Hey, what's up everyone? It's Corey here, and guess what? I am in Japan. That is right, guys. I moved to Japan a little over a week ago, I think eight or nine days. It's been really hectic getting a new apartment and finding furniture and getting a new computer and job hunting and all these other different things. But um, this is gonna be my first like real walking vlog. We're gonna do a walking tour today in my area. This is to the northeast of Tokyo City. It's in an area called Matsudoshi, uh, Matsudo City. And um, my neighborhood is called Kamihongo. So we're about a 30 minute train ride away from like Akihabara, um, Asakusa, and a lot of those downtown areas uh, in central Tokyo. So I am uh, currently outside of my apartment building. Um, we're gonna do an apartment tour later on, guys, I promise. We'll do a really cool video tour of my new apartment here. But um, today we're gonna go and uh, just explore. I'm gonna go to a secondhand furniture store and I'm gonna walk there. And so we're just gonna kind of uh, go down through the streets, check out the neighborhoods of Japan, some of these nice back alleys and side streets, and um, just enjoy the tour, okay, let's go. So right here over the railing on the first floor of my apartment, this awesome bamboo forest grove thing. <laughs> Look at it, it's so awesome. I love seeing this every day as I leave my building. This is so cool. So we're gonna go ahead and walk down this way. All right, so coming out of the front of my apartment building and now we are in Japan, guys. Japan, look at this. So beautiful Japanese maple tree. Let's go down this path. This is a bit of a steep path going down. There's actually two train stations close to my apartment building. Uh, Kita Matsudo Eki and uh, Kamihongo Eki. And both are like pretty much about the same distance from the apartment building. Anyways, I am super stoked to share this with you guys. The entire inspiration for all of my walking videos in Korea and in Vietnam and elsewhere were all inspired from my childhood and teenage years in Japan. I used to walk these kinds of side streets and alleys every day, every single day, and I used to explore them on purpose, like getting lost and you know looking for cool hidden gems and whatnot. And so that's what inspired all the walking videos for my YouTube channel back in 2013. And um, now we're back in my home country. After 20 years of living abroad in America and Vietnam and Korea, this is a local Shinto shrine right here. Very small one. Look at the bamboo. But what I love about being back in Japan is just how quiet it is. You can see there's just not a lot of people, <laughs> like not a lot of cars. There's no street parking really in Japan, not too much at least anyways. Like those are all like paid parking lots. Um, that white car, I don't know if they should be there or not, but anyway. So we're gonna kind of randomly walk around and at the same time make our way towards the secondhand furniture store because in my apartment building, um, or in my apartment I should say, I actually have zero furniture. I have a fridge, I have a microwave, and I have a futon bed. And those are all loaned to me by the landlord until I get my own. <laughs> I think he's gonna loan me the microwave for good, but um, the fridge and the futon, I, I have to get my own eventually. So today we're, we're looking around at furniture stores uh, yesterday and today and yeah, so anyways, it's about 1 p.m. Friday. Just a local park. Let's see, here's a local park. Here's a city worker taking her break, lunch break in the park. There's like nobody. 
Okay, I'm sorry, there are people, but uh, there's not a lot of people. And everywhere you go, I'm not going to go this way specifically, but... Oh, nice, look, there's a little water, kind of a stream thing here. Here's uh, some stairs that go up to another road. And just like beautiful blue tiled roof house over there. And I just love, <laughs> sorry, I'm just like obsessed with everything right now. Like this house, look at their landscaping. Look, look at the trees. Almost everyone's bushes and trees are like perfectly trimmed and just gorgeous. Here, we'll, we'll go this way. And uh, I arrived here April 10th and it was like right at the end of the Sakura, uh, the cherry blossom season. So you can still see some now, but not a lot. So hopefully along the walk, we can maybe see one or two. I did do a live stream walking tour for two hours on Instagram and on YouTube uh, from the Ueno area. That's where my hotel was when I first arrived. And uh, unfortunately with the YouTube one, oh, look at the smiley face mailbox. Uh, unfortunately, with the YouTube app, the video was like encoded really weird. I had a really strong pocket Wi-Fi signal and we were streaming in 720. People were, were receiving 720 to their computers and phones, but the, the images were very pixelated. So to, I, I think it was like an encoding issue. So those videos are still up on my channel if you do want to watch it if you can manage to watch it. Oh, look at this old like Daihatsu van. It's so tiny, I'm taller than the van. But I like this microbus. That's cool. Um, yeah, so it is still up on my channel if you guys wanna watch it. I'm gonna leave it there. It was my first live stream, like walking tour. I was thinking about deleting it, but you know what? I can always make new ones. You guys can always go back and hear the conversations with that one stream because it was really good conversations and good questions. A lot of people left awesome comments and um, asked a lot of good questions during the live stream. I was really thankful for everyone tuning in. I have not streamed to Twitch yet, but now that I do have my computer and uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll do maybe a, an IRL walking tour on Twitch as well and just try to test the waters there. See who tunes in, see the quality. Look at this house. Look at the, look at the landscaping. Look at this. They're like perfectly sculpted. These ones have really cool branches. They seem chaotic, but somehow they're like, they look like they were made to grow that way. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. So over here, uh, this is like a recycling area. They sort all their trash here in uh, Japan, similar to Korea, except they do it on a much more extreme level here. They sort all the plastics by the type of plastic it is, styrofoam, batteries, glass, 
different types of glass, different types of batteries, light bulbs, everything. Everything is like categorized and then subcategorized. Man, look at these roses. Okay, I'm not sure how long this walking video is gonna be because we're gonna walk quite a distance and I just keep getting distracted by every little thing because I want to share so much with you guys. Um, but as you notice, there's like nobody. Okay, maybe here comes somebody. Okay, there was like one person just now. But there's like no cars, there's no motorcycle honking. I'm like the only one being loud by talking and walking at the same time. The empty lot right here. So this silence is actually very, very welcoming. I enjoy it so much. Konnichiwa. Oh, there was something I did want to show you guys. And it's the manhole covers. Can you see here? So this one's for the uh, Matsudoshi. And I don't know, every, every manhole cover has a story, something related to the area of Japan that it's in. And so I'm not so sure what that one was. It's a bunch of people on a boat. I don't know if um, there's like a river nearby here where people were riding around. What is this pink car? Let's go look at it. Is that a RX-7? I think it is an RX-7, right? It's not a Porsche. Anyways, that's one thing I, I miss about Japan is all the cars, the car culture here. Like all these tiny little box cars. Oh, there's a car. Ooh, this house is beautiful right here. Beautiful front door gate. And nice uh, patina on the, the gutter, the rain gutter. And then the rain comes down this. How cool is that, huh? Again, beautiful landscaping. Can we see above there? Oh. Look at this. I wonder how old this house is. It looks super nice. Right. Let's keep going. Oh, I think there's some construction. squeeze by here. Okay, he, he signaled me through. We'll go ahead and uh, walk through here. Right. All right, arigatou gozaimasu. So we're out here on the main street. 
this is the main like boulevard or whatever that uh, cuts through this area and connects uh, like Kita Matsudo uh, Station, which is up ahead, uh, going back, back way, uh, backwards <laughs> towards Matsudo. So we're actually walking away from the center of Tokyo right now. And I like that they have this uh, barrier wall here, so you don't like walk out into the street. Even if there's like the, see the three white bars? You could still like potentially fall, right? Anyways. Yeah, so it is a little bit noisy over here just because it's the main thoroughfare. You can see all the cars. Look at these little box cars. They're so cute. Yeah, one day um, after I get my license, I'm gonna go ahead and get a car. Oh my God, look at that small one right there. What's nice about me getting a license here is I don't have to go through the whole process of, you know, taking the written test and the driver's test and all that kind of stuff. Uh, my, my driver's license is from the state of Maryland. And uh, the state of Maryland is one of few states in America that are exempt from taking the written or the driving uh, test. So all I would need is a, a permanent residency, not a permanent residency. So all I would need is my, uh, my little alien card, my like residency card that shows I live here and my US driver's license, go down to the office, pay a fee, and then they go ahead and make a Japanese driver's license for me. And if that's not the easiest thing I've ever heard of, <laughs> I don't know what is. Yeah, so down here by the, the main road, you can see there's some large apartment buildings across the way. It's just more, uh, more busy down here. There's a great karaage chicken place right here. See, they got the fried chicken. Oh, goodness. Oh, yeah. I, ate, uh, I ate there once. Actually, you don't eat there, it's just takeaway only. So you just go up to the window, you order a box of chicken, and then you're good to go. Oh, the light is green. Let's go. There's really no like jaywalking at major roads like this. Everyone follows the green light, red light, which is nice. Yeah. Yeah, so this way is straight ahead is uh, Kita Matsudo Station. So it's that green building, uh, the green rooftop straight down there. That's where I come in from the city. And then I walk up this road. It's one of the roads that I could walk up to to get to home. But uh, I'm gonna go up this way and we're gonna go ahead and take some side streets to kind of get away from the main road. The noise and um, all that. We're gonna go explore some like side street, side street stuff. Yeah, so this is kind of the area where I do my groceries and whatnot. Like this store here, uh, Maruetsu. This is a supermarket. This is where I buy all my bento and milk and well, soy milk. And, I'm lactose intolerant, I don't drink dairy. But uh, yeah, that's one supermarket.
and then there's um, like a pharmacy. There's some convenience stores here. Like this is called a Lawson store. You see there? Lawson store 100, it's 24 hours. It's kind of like a mini supermarket. If you happen to like miss going to the regular supermarket, at least there's that there. You can pick up eggs and ham and you know, ramen and whatever else. It's got all the goodies there. Uh, unfortunately, they don't have shampoo or soap or anything because I did look. Yeah, here's the, the other supermarket. And on the second floor is actually a Daiso. Daiso, like 100 yen shop. It's kind of like the dollar store. I think a lot of people around the world know what Daiso is now. Yeah, there's an Indian restaurant. And then further up goes towards my house. Uh, this giant thing that says Create. It's a big pharmacy. Like a huge pharmacy. It's like bigger than CVS or Rite Aid or anything like that. Um, but they're loaded with anything and everything related to like self-care and bath related things. No food. Okay, so I've actually never walked here before, but I have a general idea of where I'm going. So let's, let's see what we discover along the way. This little narrow house. What is this place? Is this a hundred yen vending machine? It is. Ah, oh, some of the drinks are a hundred, but most are a hundred and ten. Yeah, we're gonna just keep going. So basically, the way to the furniture store was to follow that main road, the main thoroughfare. But um, these roads here run parallel to that. So at least I know I'm going in the right direction. Oh, so beautiful and quiet. It's a huge difference between Japan and Vietnam in terms of a noise pollution. Oh, look at this. Apartments. Was this a school? Looks like this is a school. Okay, we do have to jaywalk here, which is fine. So, hold on, I want to look at this school. It's Friday, where is everybody? I haven't heard any kids or anything. Is this a school or is this a park? Oh, it's a park. I thought it was a school. Okay. So let's just kind of walk through the park. Just a big open park <laughs> with hot little gravelly dirt. This is the kind of stuff I used to play on as a kid. It gets super hot in the sun, trust me. Can we go this way? All right, let's go back down. Yeah, so you guys, if you are enjoying this walk, please give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends who are interested in Japan and seeing what just some normal side streets, some normal neighborhoods of Japan, like what they look like. And uh, if you want to see more, 
definitely subscribe. Definitely helps out with what I'm doing here. And uh, I have so many ideas for videos. Now that I have a new computer, I can actually finish editing my Malaysia videos, which were halfway done before my laptop died. And uh, yeah, so many things to share with you guys from Japan. I'm not talking right now, just so you can hear like literally how quiet it is. You can hear my footsteps and that's about it. Okay, I see something over here. It looks like a temple. Sounds like, okay, I hear like weed whacking or something in the distance or drilling. I don't know what that is. It's pretty much the only thing I hear other than the wind. I'm not sure if this is, uh, okay, this is to a parking lot. It's a cool building though, across the way. All right, let's go back down. Yeah, and another thing, you guys, anything you see in this video, if you have questions about it, or you saw something that I didn't talk about and you, and you thought it was really cool, definitely leave a comment or your question down below. I will definitely try to answer it to the best of my ability. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> It's really warm. I'm wearing jeans and a t-shirt. And uh, a backpack. And my back is all sweaty. I hope it doesn't show through my shirt. Notice there's actually quite a few campers here in Japan. People love camping uh, in this country. So it makes sense that they have a camper vehicle, you know? It's another smaller park. So we're still walking parallel to that main road. It's on our left, to the left of us. It's this way. Oh, there's some more fruit. And so there's the main street that way. Notice it's like a million times quieter, just one street over into the neighborhood. Look at this house. this way without going back to the main road? Possibly. Ooh, is this a skyline? Yep, this 
So GTR. Nice. Whoa, look at this garage. It's kind of cool. Looks like a storage shed, like a very futuristic looking storage shed. Hmm. Oh, here's the local post office. And here's the mailbox. So you can see the mailbox here. They have two slots. Uh, the one on the right is for like international mail, um, express mail, non-standard sized mail. And then on the left is just normal letters, postcards, and you know, stuff like that. So, very cool. Okay, let's keep walking. bit noisy over here, yeah? It's much closer to the main road. Okay, over here is a cemetery. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of show you guys what a cemetery in Japan looks like. So there's two types of like religious buildings you're gonna come across all the time in Japan, and those are shrines and temples. Um, although there's no temple here, but usually cemeteries are on temple grounds, and usually temples are Buddhist. Wow, look at this rock formation. All the stones in there. Can I go up there and look at it? Just take a little peek. Take a quick little peek. Very cool. Yeah, and then over here you can see there's just uh, more like modern tombstones made from granite and some other kind of dense stone. Very uh, clean, very sharp looking. Yeah, so what I was gonna say was, uh, I love this old house. They're probably the caretakers for this, uh, the cemetery that live here. That's my assumption. Okay, so what I was trying to say was that uh, Buddhist temples usually have some kind of a cemetery near them, or if you see a cemetery, it's usually associated with a Buddhist temple. And uh, if you see a red Tori gate, or like a white one or a stone one, those are usually Shinto. Uh, here, you can see this is the very end of cherry blossom season. You can see here's a, just a few left on here. And then this is gonna get really flushed out with, uh, fleshed out, I mean, with uh, green leaves. Okay, I think we're maybe halfway, or a little over halfway to the furniture store that I'm trying to go to. Ooh, look at these crows. In Japan, there's a lot of crows. They can be kind of a nuisance at times. You know, like opening up trash and then spreading the trash all over the street and stuff like that. And plus their, their noise, the cawing that they do. If you get a bunch of them all at one time, just like flying around and cawing, and it's uh, pretty noisy. Nice truck. Such cool designs. Trying to keep a nice pace going. 
Oh, there's like a, a military plane flying. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I can see it. It's a four propeller plane. It looks like a radar plane for the Air Force. Maybe. I don't know why I threw radar in there. <laughs> I was thinking like a PC-3 or whatever. P3C, I forget what they're called, for the Navy. The big uh, disc on top. Anyways, let's keep going. All right, we got a crossroad here. Anybody? No, okay. Okay, there was somebody, but we're good. Yeah, so I think you guys kind of get the, the gist of what a normal Japanese neighborhood is like. You know, just a few people here and there riding bicycles or walking. And uh, not a lot of cars or people. No one's really honking. I don't think I've heard a car honk even one time here. <laughs> Okay, maybe I take it back. I think I heard a car honk one time in the eight or nine days that I've been here. Pretty. And there's a lot of gardens I've noticed, especially in my neighborhood. There's just these like, I don't know if these are public gardens or if it, this lot, like right here, belongs to this house. Or it's just like a community garden, you know what I mean? Like, anyone can come here and just kind of like stake out a plot of land and just start growing veggies. So this place right here in the yellow, this is called Treasure Factory. This is a secondhand store that I went to. It had some used furniture. I just want to see out front. Out front is like where the cheap stuff is. Um, actually, sorry, I take it back. They don't have a lot of furniture, but it's just like secondhand goods. But they had a few washing machines. I just want to see if they're still there or not. So this is a used Mitsubishi fridge for like around $75-ish. You know, it's got like some dings. I don't know if you can see that ding. Um, it's a washing machine for about 50, 50 something dollars. This is actually good. Um, Cause I'm trying to find a washing machine first, more than a fridge. I might have to come back here today. I'm gonna go check out this other secondhand store though. A little bit further. I came to this one the other day and that machine was there and so it's still there. Oh wow, look at this Suzuki. It's like a Jeep, Suzuki Jeep. It's kind of tiny. All right, let's keep going. The entire goal was to go to this uh, secondhand furniture store, like secondhand goods store, just a little bit further away since I've already been to a treasure factory.
at this. It looks like the actual storage. Maybe you can rent these out? I'm not sure. There's a sign on the side of it, so it probably says something. driving a little crazy on that turn there. Whole car looked like it was gonna tip over. <laughs> yeah, I want, I want a little boxy car like this. Isn't that tight? That's so cool. All right, I'm gonna look at my phone real quick for the map, just to make sure we're uh, going the right way. We might have to go this way, I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, we can uh, go this way. close to Mabashi Eki, Mabashi Station. So I think these people are like just getting off the train, kind of like walking home. Look at that blue house across the way. Looks like there's a barber shop on the first floor. Okay, we gotta walk that way, I believe. Oh no, wait. Sorry, <laughs> we're at a we're at a weird crossroad here. There's two streets over there. We got a street over here. I'm gonna stick to this one over here. What is this place? It's like a printing factory or something. I smell like something that smells like wood or paper around here. Hey, it's like a row of homes back here. Pretty quiet. Now there's another thing I wanted to point out while walking around here in Japan is just how clean it is. Like, like I'm looking around, no cigarette butts, no wrappers, no cans, even like in the sewer grate, there's no trash. <laughs> it's just like leaves. They take really good care of their neighborhoods and streets. I see people sweeping all the time in the mornings and at night. And then they have the street sweepers that come by occasionally. <gasps> I found a cigarette butt. Oh my God. Let's do a DNA test on it. Is 
are like really modern new homes back here. Must be a new development. Wow. Look at this yellow house too, that's awesome. This red Japanese maple tree, maple leaf tree, and uh, I saw a butterfly, there it is. Oh, butterfly. Construction. It's Friday afternoon. Okay, I was gonna say I hear no construction, but there. As soon as I was about to say it, I heard someone's like power drill. These are beautiful. Ooh, roads turning. Okay, we gotta. Um, Go about the map on my phone. Make sure we're going in the right direction. Ah, okay. So up here we're gonna turn left. We're we're a little ways away from where I need to go. It's kind of windy down there. Man, I could walk these streets all day. Oh, very windy. Sorry about the wind on the microphone. I'm covering the mic with my hand a little bit. Hopefully it helps. Okay, let's cross. It's a big park. Hear a loudspeaker. There's some more farming action. Looks freshly tilled. Probably did it this morning. We're looking at the, I'm literally looking at the map right now on my phone. But my, the GPS is like slow to load on Google Maps. Oh, wait, we're going the wrong way. We gotta go back this way. <laughs> Thank God I looked. Wow. Is there a stream under this? Cause this is a pretty wide sidewalk has to be a stream or something, like some kind of a canal under this. I don't think I've ever seen a sidewalk in Japan this wide in a neighborhood like this. Nice wheelchair ramp. Sign said vehicles are not allowed to drive on this. Okay, I think this is like a high school over here. I can hear a trumpet. I can't really see. Whoa, that's something you don't see every day. It is like a run down car. Can you see it? I can't even tell what kind of a car it is. It looks completely smashed. The windows are broken. It's completely disassembled. 
Looks like a sports car though. I wonder what kind. It looks like a drifting car. It has like uh, some like, uh, what do you call it? Like aftermarket stickers on the side and stuff. Aftermarket uh, products or maybe sponsors or something. They probably crashed and then uh, had their car hauled to that spot and then just like dropped off. Oh, I just realized that these bars are painted. So over here, it doesn't look like anything. But over there, you can see there's like, it's like a flying fish. See the green waves? And then there's the flying fish coming out of the water. It's pretty neat. Yeah, I just checked my phone. It's two o'clock right now. going straight. Yeah, we're kind of doing some zigzag action right now on the map. I'm looking at the grid. We're, we're not too far from where I need to go. Motorcycle repair. Yeah, so have you guys been to Japan? If you have, leave a comment down below. Let me know where you went, what you enjoyed the most about this country. If you haven't been here, but you're very curious about Japan, Leave your comments or questions down below. I'd like to hear uh, what you guys are into, or you want to see about Japan, or you just want to know more about something. Like, just let me know in the comments, the comment section. There's like nobody. I have to stop saying there's nobody because there are people. <laughs> I just have a bad habit of saying like blanket statements that aren't true. Like, look, there's no cars. There's actually cars everywhere. There's just very few of them driving around. We're doing the zigzag action right now. Kopo Kawaguchi. Should I go this way? Or should I go this way? I'm gonna go this way. This is the best part about walking is the, the unknown. I literally have no idea what I'm gonna see when I turn around the corner. Luckily, I do have my map just in case. Otherwise, we'd be like really, really lost. And we'd have to backtrack to the main street. All right. I want to go straight, but it looks like there's a forest up there, like with a hill. So I'm guessing maybe there's a temple over there too. But let's go ahead and check the map. Should be a park right here. I don't see anything about a temple though on my map. Yeah, I think it's just apartment buildings and stuff up there. 
Oh yeah, you can see it. There, they're like modern apartments. Let's um, let's go through the park. Yeah, more times than not in Japan, like from my experience growing up here, is like when you see like hills like this, these big hills with forests and stuff, there's usually like some kind of a shrine or a temple there. I got some kids. So you can see the hillside. You can see the apartment buildings. All right, let's go back out. I'm getting kind of thirsty, so I will have to uh, find a vending machine with something. Water. I kind of don't want anything from here. All right, let's keep walking. We'll, we'll check out some other vending machines before the end of this video, I promise. My back is all sweaty. <laughs> now, do you see these red bushes right here? I don't know what they're called, but I see them everywhere. No matter where I'm at in Tokyo, like whichever area of the city I'm in, there's so many places with this. This is the most amount I've seen. Whoa, windy. The most amount. This is the most amount I've seen since I was in the Ueno area. I don't know what they are. I don't remember them as a child, but um, they're very pretty. I like them. All right, according to the map, we did need to head out to the main road just a little bit and then kind of walk down. I, I might just stick to the main road from here on out unless, you know, something calls my attention to turn left or right. Actually, it would be right only. Turning left would be crossing the street. I don't think I need to cross the street. Even though I'm next to this road, the air smells so clean. Like I don't feel like I'm inhaling pollution uh, like I was back in, uh, in Hanoi. Over there, it's just absolutely insane. I'm sure Tokyo has its fa a fair share of pollution. It's just not on the same level as Hanoi. Whoa, that kid had the green. Yeah, see, he's looking at the green light, like what the fuck? <laughs> the truck, I guess, didn't see him coming. Something smells good. And I bet you it's this uh, restaurant right here. This is uh, like a barbecue house. 
grilled meat. I don't know if you guys can see it, because we're far away with the GoPro, but I can see, oh, here you can see it. There's a, the smoke vents above each table. The hood, nice. Ah, so this is it. This is where I'm coming to. Zuck, recycle shop. Recycle shop Zuck. Yeah, so I've made it. Wow, cool. All right guys, that's it. Um, I made it to my destination, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. As I mentioned earlier in the video, if you like this, uh, definitely give it a thumbs up, subscribe, ask questions and comments down below. Guys, I'm so stoked to be doing walking videos and uh, some other new videos will be coming this way from the Tokyo area of Japan. Um, thank you and I will see you guys later. I'm a little bit out of breath because there's a little bit of an incline right here. But um, anyways guys, Peace out.